Welcome to class 7 mathematics classes. We are in chapter congruency exercise 21a question number 2 2. Here we have to show that these two triangles are congruent by some conditions of congruency. So in this triangle A B C and in the triangle P R Q. Okay. The side A B is equals to the side PR it is given and the angle ABC here angle ABC means which angle this angle 35 degree is given ABC angle and in this triangle angle PRQ is 35 another is the side BC is equals to QR okay so so these two triangles are congruent by side angle side condition this side and this side corresponding sides okay corresponding angles and corresponding sides so this will write in this manner in triangle a b c and triangle P R Q okay in triangle A B C and in triangle P R Q A B the line segment A B is equals to the line segment P R the corresponding sides okay it is given in the figure that they are equal and angle A B C is equals to angle P R Q that is also given in the figure and BC the side BC is equals to RQ that is also given in the figure therefore the triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PRQ by what condition S A S that is side angle side condition okay so next question is three number okay you can see in this figure the triangle d h e and r p q okay so we are giving reference to this angle that is 90 degree opposite to this 90 degree is the hypotenuse but it is not given in the question any information about this hypotenuse here also not given any information about this hypotenuse we don't know they are equal or not but other three uh, in informations are given like the side this side and this side this angle and this angle okay and this side and this side is given so the triangle name is d h e okay d h e the triangle name of this is d h e and this is r p q okay here the side d h and r p is equal and the angle d h e okay and this angle r p q is equal to each other and h e the side h e of this triangle and the side p q of this triangle are equal so by what rule these two triangles are congruent by side angle side this angle is the included angle between two sides so it is called as included angle okay so let us write in triangle e h d and triangle q P R side D H is equals to R P that is given in the figure we have to write the region why they are equal angle D H E is equals to angle R P Q it is also given in the figure both of these angles are 90 degree it is given in the figure and the side he is equals to pq 
that is also given in the figure and here we can write therefore triangle EHD is congruent to triangle QPR okay by what rule side angle side rule okay so next question is number four so you can see this figure here ABC the triangle name and R Q P okay we are referring this 90 degree and we are na naming the triangle A B C and R Q P okay so in triangle in triangle A B C and in triangle R Q P okay you can see here the sides AB and the side RQ is equal okay so let us write AB is equals to RQ given in the figure and angle ABC ABC this angle and this angle okay this angle what is the name of this angle R Q P okay angle R Q P these two are also given in the figure both of them are 90 degree okay and now B C the side B C and Q P are also given equal B C and Q P is given in the figure they are equal therefore like in question number three this is also according to side angle side condition the ang triangles are congruent so triangle a b c is congruent to triangle r q p by side angle side conditions okay so now next question is five number so this is question number five and the triangle name is here l m n okay see the triangle given over here that is uh, this side is given this side is given and these two angles are given okay so we don't see any 70 degree in this triangle is there any 70 degree in this triangle no but we can calculate how much is this angle okay so you know that sum of the angle of a triangle is 180 degree and if we subtract the sum of these two okay that is 80 plus 30 okay 80 plus 30 how much it is this is 180 minus 8 9 10 11 110 so we'll get 70 degree okay so angle x is 70 degree so first of all in triangle z or no we can say like this y x z okay y x z the name of the triangle in triangle y x z angle y x z is equals to 180 minus 110 that is 70 degree okay so this angle giving the reference we can show that these two triangles are congruent so here this is 70 degree that we have found by some angle triangles property okay so here this side this side and this side is equal is given in the figure this side and this side is given in the figure that they are equal 
and this angle and this angle is equal now the triangle name is l m n okay l m n no we have to refer this side so y x z this is the triangle name so here must be the triangle name should be n m l okay so in triangle n l no n m l and in triangle n m x y x z y x z n m l y x z okay so at first n m and y x are equal in the figure okay n m is equals to y x given in the figure and the angle n m l angle n m l is equals to y x z angle y x z both of them are 70 degree okay it's not given so you should not write given here we have calculated it now the side m l m l is equals to x z so by what rule they are congruent side angle side okay so therefore we can write therefore therefore triangle n m l is congruent to triangle y x z by what rule side angle side rule okay here we have completed question number two and for question number three we'll see in next video class thank you very much